Hi there, Matt Gilbert here in Keeler's Bay, Vermont. Today is February 25th. Yesterday I went fishing in Mallet's Bay and caught a bunch of tiny little fish and a plane almost landed on me. So today I'm hoping that the fish can provide the YouTube magic because the plane thing was uh... It was different. It was not what I was looking for. But it was certainly interesting. Shout out to the plane guy who wanted to take me up for a ride, help me film a video about landing planes on the ice. I would love to do that. So please hit me up. Comments below. I got my sled filled to the rim. Operation Bring Less Crap is completely suspended for today. So it's definitely a tent day. I'm gonna drag this thing out to, I believe it's Apple Island. There's an island out there. Just past it is where I've seen a bunch of people. So today's mission, perch fishing. Get out there, I'll uh, catch up with you when I have a little bit more stuff going on, all right? Well, I just made it past the uh, little entry ramp. Uh, no snow on the rods this time. Today I have a bucket solution I'm trying out. It's not perfect, but I think I'm onto something here. We'll, we'll see. I've seen other people do something like this. So not my idea. Just try to try to implement it. The colder at night temperatures have firmed up the, the snow nicely. Recently I was at Lake Iroquois and it was like walking in pudding, wet slushy pudding, uncured jello. It was bad. Today is uh, not too bad. How well and how securely you have everything packed in your sled. Really importante if you don't want to lose things, which I'm really good at. Rip Red Shovel, he was one of my favorites. Either Lake Iroquois or someone at Lake Iroquois took it. Before I had a red shovel, now I have a purple shovel and life is better. Not a bad walk, but getting old real fast. Oh, what the hell? Solid? Oh, not only is it solid, it's slippery as all get up. Okay, status update. We're about a half a mile from the island over here. Got the deucer hooked up, switched out to my ice spikes because uh, I'm tired of slipping over ice. And... It's not a race. I'm taking my time. I'm going to get out there. I'm going to drill some holes, and there will be big perch down there. I can't, I can't cross my fingers, but I'm trying as hard as I can. Data numero dos. More setup. Starting to spread my crap out on the ice. The purple shovel, just like its red brethren, tried to escape. What is it with these shovels? I'm in about uh, 25 feet of water. I don't know if you guys can see that, but nobody's home. Time to back up and move. No fish here on this side of the island. Uh, I've made it almost to it. Time to hike out to the deeper water over there. See what happens. It's a gorgeous day. It's so nice out. Life could be worse. Spot number three. Not really doing. And no signs of life. Status update. It's 1244. I'm on the other side of the island. This is Kellogg Island, by the way. I'm in 35 feet of water here, and I saw some marks at around 30. 25 and so was pretty dead. I'm in a deep basin, and I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hike that away towards the opening of this. And we're gonna try out there, and then if that doesn't work, I'm gonna start hiking my way back. And I don't know, we might even try a different spot today, cause like, I got all this crap with me. I just wanna set up the shack, catch a couple fish, eat a sandwich, relax. Today's been a lot of hiking, a little bit of drilling. I mean, I guess it's fishing, but it's cold. Anyway, it's time to go that way. Good news, everybody. I finally found them. Found them. They're over here. They're in about 25 feet of water. Uh, Kellogg Island is way over there. I hiked uh, a bit closer to the side of the shoreline here, and it is time for the tent. So we'll see you inside that thing. Oh, how's it going, everybody? It's been it's been a couple hours since we checked in last. It, it took a couple more moves before I really zeroed in on where the fish were, but the last two drops have been the biggest fish of the day, so that means it's time to turn the camera on. I'm gonna say it's like three, four o'clock or so in the afternoon, and I have tried just about every single kind of bait, but when I tell you that the perch bite is on, I, I hope 
I hope I can show you some of this. So we're dropping back down. My phone stinks like fish. I stink like fish. I have a feeling I might get a hook up here while, literally while I'm trying to get the GoPro going. It's just, it's happening. Oh! This is nuts. The fish finder is blowing up. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, oh, that, oh, he's off. <laughs> That was a hell of a hook set. Man, when you just like lean into a chunker like that, oh, it's the best. <sighs> well, welcome back. Been, uh, it's been a hot minute since we last talked. It's been a slow day, but it's been a good day and it, it just turned right. Shut up, speaker. It turned super, super up. Though I will say they just disappeared again. There were some serious biggins that were patrolling. There were marks showing up on the finder. That was really good, but we're gonna get down there and we're gonna see this, this yellow clam I put on has been the juice. Oh, oh, oh. Thought it delivered again. And they're, they're coming up again, they want it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh ho, 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 yeah! Now, this is not what I was catching at Mallet's Bay. This is what I'm talking about. Oh yeah! <laughs> well, leave a comment below. Is this uh is this what you would call an eater size perch? I feel like I feel like I'm really close. If this if this ain't it, what what is? They're getting good. Fishing's awesome. I'm so glad I hiked out here. I am fishing in a 27 feet of water. I am hauling up real nice looking, you know, we'll call them eight inch perch. Yeah, buddy. Thanks for playing. Woo! Yeah, yeah, that was that was good. Oh, Oh, I've been waiting all day for this. <laughs> the thing that's like so exciting about this particular lure right now is that like as I send it down, I see marks come up to greet it. And when you put something down and there's really no enthusiasm, it's generally a good sign that like, uh, maybe this ain't the best spot to fish. But when you drop something down and every time you do, you see big stuff, that's where it's at. So we got a couple risers. I'm gonna see if I can entice the big ones. Here we go, we got one. We got a customer. Yeah! Oh, another good one! Another good one! Get up the hole. Get up the hole! Oh, this one is puffy in the belly. Oh, yeah! Look at that. Oh man. So up until this point today, I've only been catching like little like pathetic fish, but man, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Something, something turned on. And these big, big chungus fish have been rolling through. The chungus among us. Oh, let's look at this one. Ah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, and oh. oh, down the hole. Here in that one. If you're smart enough to escape Matt Gilbert, you deserve to live. Ah, uh, so status update, 5 p.m. The bite is on. Oh yeah, so yeah, I have a yellow clam spoon that I will be showing a picture of because you guys should go out and buy one. In fact, I don't know if I have my affiliate stuff set up yet, but go look in the comments below. I'll leave a link to this thing. Cause like, this thing is the sauce. And when I mean the sauce, I mean hook ups. So we got, we got a couple lookers. I mean, no one needs really making me wonder if I still have a, a fish on. Cause the ones that have been striking lately have been really, really aggressive. It's, it's kind of like uncharacteristic for perch. Oh yeah. Oh, here we go. We got another one. Oh, 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 oh this, this might be the best today. Let's see what we got here. Oh, oh, oh yes. I think, I 
think I'm actually gonna weigh this fish. <laughs> wow, I've never, I've never weighed a perch before. Look at this. That is a 0.44 pound perch. This little unit is almost half a pound. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Finally, and you know, I'm just so happy. I, I want to catch the eater perch. Yesterday I was talking about it. I don't know, now that I got them, it's like, man, they're just, they're so, oh, a nice flare. A nice flare, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. All right, back down you go. Wow, that. <laughs> oh, I almost got a half pound perch. That was a quarter pounder with cheese. How did that happen? <laughs> that was so sick. And the hookup was just like, oh, oh, oh. I found that there's like a little bit of a jiggle move I gotta do to really get the saucy mamas to bite. What that? Oh! Ripped it out of its mouth. The hook sets have been super fun today. It, it's rare that you get <laughs> do the rock star high sticking and not like pull the bait out of the fish's mouth. So you need you need a decent sized fish for that. We had a little prime time there. I got like three or four chungus perch. Those guys made the trip out here. So awesome. Got some bumps. Got some bumps. Giving it a jingle, jingle jangle. Yeah, here we go, let's see another perch. This one isn't nearly as big as the other ones. <laughs> oh, you call that a perch. Oh, man. Wow, and it just totally turned off. I mean, every time I say that, I catch another fish, so we'll see. All right, guys, I'm not sure if you can see this, there we go. This little clam. This is the sauce right here. It is going off. And... Whoa! I don't think this one's as nice, but... <laughs> These hookups are just... The, they're the best! <laughs> yeah, oh, you call that... You call that a perch. I think I'm spoiled by that last one. That was just, that was insane. Oh man, I've been getting puked on a lot today. That one brought up a lot. Really nothing discernible from their gut. It's, I thought I saw some like uh, crustacean kind of stuff, but mostly it's just the chopped up minnows that I've been chumming. So yeah, chumming works. Not bad. Not, not the piggy we were having before, but this one's this one's got some got some metal. Yeah, some of these. This one doesn't, but I got one earlier that had like a straight up copper color to it that I've never seen before. That was really pretty. Uh, oh, this one, this one choked it. Oh yeah, that is not the best hook set in the world. Back you fish doctor. Well, whether or not I saved him, I removed him. And down the hole he goes. Well, he swam away. And that's, that's all I have to do. We're getting low on minnows. I rarely run out of bait. You know fishing is good when you're running out of bait. Yes. <laughs> okay. Down again, get a fresh minnow head on, and there's already someone coming up. Hello, I'm a perch. I'm the resident bait inspector, and I'm about to whack your bait. Oh yeah. Come on up, let me inspect you. Tell me, who inspects the inspectors? Oh yeah. Another nice one. Woo! I mean, compared to yesterday, this is maybe like the fifth or sixth one of these I've held up. 
Yeah, buddy, you're nice. Oh, wow. Check this out. Beautiful. So this is what's going on outside. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm good on that. Let's, uh, I mean, it's beautiful, but there's nothing to me more beautiful than giant Shungus perch. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep smacking them if that's okay with you. Do you have a favorite snack while you're fishing? If so, please comment below. One of my favorites is peanut M&Ms. Kind of hard to beat. Chocolatey, tasty, bite size. Play, you play your cards right, they don't taste like fish. But then again, on the other hand, if your candy tastes like fish, you're probably having a good day for other reasons, right? Mm. Also, don't leave trash on the ice. If you leave trash on the ice, you are trash. Dinner time! Ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding -a. They're not impressed. Well, usually the perch bite turns off when the sun goes down. And it would appear that the sun is uh, a few minutes away from going down. Yeah! Ooh, ooh, yeah! Oh yeah, last fish of the day. Oh, good one to close out. Not not a PB like that quarter pounder with cheese I got, but man, whoo! Here we go, the close out perch. Nothing special, you know, they're fun. Perch are one of my favorite fish to catch. Also to eat, but that's not great. Right. I need to start taking all this crap out of this tent before it gets too dark. Anyway, prime time was awesome. But I went outside to start getting everything ready and uh, lo and behold, look at the moon. Oh man, how cool is that? And uh, I don't know if you guys can see this like gorgeous, gorgeous cotton candy sunset in the background. I mean, I can't think of a much better ending for one of the best perch fishing days I've ever had. Those were some awesome, phenomenal, definitely eater sized perch. Maybe, maybe I'm a small size of eater, but. Ah, oh, you know, I, I, you put it in the grind and occasionally you get a couple of nice fish. <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna try and sign off here by the moonlight. This has been another episode of VTTU. Today's mission, perch fishing, a huge success. We got a couple chungus little beasts. We let them go, but next time they might not be so lucky. I'm raring to do a catch and cook. Perch are absolutely delicious. We cooked some last year. They were really good. Uh, late season is always when I have my best fishing, ice fishing. So uh, I'm gonna start packing stuff up. I may or may not get some video of it, but uh, worst case, I'll see you back at the car. Well, the sled is all packed up. 
that's what's left when I'm done fishing. So not too bad, you know, I'm trying to leave a small impact. You leave trash on the ice, you are trash. And the, uh, the moon, the moon is still cooking. Oh, beautiful. Sunset and moonrise at the same time. What a day. It's a, it's a chungus kind of night. Now is the most perilous part of the whole journey. Trying to get home without losing any of this crap. The purple shovel already tried to escape once. Not again. Oh. All right, everybody. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, today's perch mission was a resounding success. We hiked to the far side of Kellogg Island. There was definitely a grindy hike out there, but all of a sudden it was prime time. Yellow clamp was just, it was like, it wasn't the dinner bell, it was the Chungus bell. It was calling in the biggins and there's nothing more fun when you just get to like, whoa, high stick, rip them lips and oh, pull them biggins out of the water. Thanks for watching this one. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. I don't know how long I can keep up this streak, uh, but you know, I'm gonna keep doing it as much as I can. Uh, but I need you guys to help me out big time. I need more views, I need more shares. Last video I looked, I've only got like 30 or 40 views. Those are, those are rookie numbers. Which, to be fair, I am a YouTube rookie. But, um, you know, be the positive change that you want in the world. If there's something out there you want, go and do it. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I had a great time filming it. I wasn't sure if it was gonna come through and all of a sudden, just like, boom, the bite turned on. One of my best fishing days of the year. Today's mission, perch fishing, 100% successful. Keeler Bay, Kellogg Island, great time would highly recommend it if you're looking for somewhere to go fishing. That's gonna do it for today. My name's Matt Gilbert, and my favorite thing in the world is bringing VT to you. Thanks for coming along on this adventure. We'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.